Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, we're going to be replacing the MacBook Pro 2019 screen. As you can see, it's all broken. So look at that. If I touch the screen, you can see the ink is, you know, all over the screen. It's completely broken. Here I have the new one, the one we're going to use to replace it. All right, the first thing we have to do, we have to turn off the computer before it start changing any part, okay? So in this case, you have to press the power button for a few seconds until the computer turn off. We have to do it this way because obviously you cannot see on the screen what you're doing. So you have to turn off the computer manually like that. All right, let's do it. All right guys, I just have all the screwed out as you can see right here. Now we have to remove this back part. Sometimes it get really tough, but let me show you my technique that I use to do that. So I use a nail clip. You can use something similar, you know what I mean? What I do is that I, you know, insert the, this part right here and just pull it up, just like that. As you can see, it's up. Now, with my finger, I try to open it all the way, you see? Okay, now, right here, there's some clip under this cover. Try to slide this part down, that way you will unclip it. Let me show you. It gets really hard, like I say, guys. Yes, as you can see, this part is already out. Now, let's do this one. All right, it was easier. Okay, so we got it. All right, guys, the next thing we have to do, we have to disconnect the battery. The battery connection, this is the battery right here. So the battery connection is right under this sticker right here. So just pull it out, just like that. You see, put it on the side, we're gonna use it later. And now you have to unplug this cable. You have to use something plastic because if you use something metal, you might damage your computer. Use something plastic to, you know, deal with the motherboard. To disconnect it, you have to open this clip right here. Just pull this thing up like that. And then you can slide the cable to the left. Just like that. It's gonna come out, you see? That's how easy it is. Now guys, the next thing you have to do, you have to remove this screw right here because you know, the battery connection is on the this screw right here. Here I have it, put it on the side. And now using something plastic, something like that, you wanna just pull that up. That's all you have to do. That's how you disconnect the battery from your computer. Now we are safe, we can keep going with the process, okay? So the next thing we have to do, we have to disconnect the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connection. They are right here under this black tape. Just pull that up and you will see it right here. I don't know which one is the Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. So what you have to do, you have to use something like this marker just to mark the connection where it belongs to. So, you know, I use brown. So the brown is go right here, the first one. And now I'm gonna use a different color marker to mark the last one. It's gonna be this one, blue, that means it's right there. The metal one doesn't have, you know, any mark, so that means it's going the metal. Now let's disconnect this cable really um, gentle, guys, because if you break it, you will have to replace the whole part, the whole Wi-Fi um, card, so you don't want that. So using something like this, just pull it up, just like that, and as you can see, that's how easy it is if you do it the right way. All right, guys, now we have to disconnect the cable that connect the whole model board with this part. So the cable is under this piece. So just, you know, take off these two screws right here. Okay, as you can see, this is the flex that I'm talking about. It's like a cable. Actually, they are four screws. So you have to remove these two right here. And now, guys, we have access to this cable. So just pull it up, just like that. And as you can see, it's already done. That's how easy it is. Next, we have to disconnect the Touch ID cable. So it's under this metal. So it has one, two screws. Just let me remove the screws and then I will show you how to do it. One screw. And two. All right, so just pull it up just like that. And it's really easy, guys. And now using something plastic like this, just 
pull those cables, pull it up. Just like that. All right, we are done with that. So let's jump to the next step. Okay guys, now we have to remove a screw right here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on this side. On the other side, we also have a screw that we have to remove, okay? So let's start. So, you know, I really hope that you have the right screwdriver because if you don't have the right screwdriver, you're gonna have hard time trying to remove this screw right here. So let's start. So now it's time to remove the Wi-Fi card. So we're gonna use something like that just to pull it up like that. You see how easy it is? So be careful, don't make a lot of pressure because you know we don't have we don't want to break it. Just try to pull it up like that. As you can see, it's coming out. All right, so that's all you have to do. Now let's take this cover off. And as you can see, we can see now the screws that hold the screen with the whole computer. So we have one, two, and three on this side. And on the other side, we have three. So six screws we have to remove now to be able to remove the whole screen. Let me get the right screwdriver so we can start doing that. So as you can see, we have now one, two, three, and four screws that we have to remove, okay? One, two, three, and four. Let's remove them. Okay, now it's time to remove the whole screen. Now we're gonna be able to do it really easy. Just open it, and as you can see, we finally have the screen out, guys. So it's time to replace it. Here we have the new one. And we now we're gonna just use the same you know steps and process to pull the new one back to the computer. So this one is trash. The back part is still good, but you know it's really hard to replace just the screen. So if you're gonna buy the screen, I recommend you to buy the whole thing, the whole part, the way I did it because it's gonna be easier. So just try to buy the whole screen so it can be you know uh, pre-owned. It can be you know used as long as working. It doesn't have a lot of damage or mark scratch. I think you will be good to go. All right, step number one, just make sure the flex, you know, the connection are just like that. Out of the screen. Now you're gonna, you know, go ahead, this part, you're gonna slide it in, just like that. And now the bottom part, okay? So what, are, what you should do now, guys, just, you know, put some screw right here to make sure the screen is on the right place before I start connecting these cables. So just do that and you will see, it'll be a lot easier. All right guys, what we're gonna do now, so we're gonna push the cables from here. So you will see the cables on this side. So just push it in that way. So they will be long enough to be able to, you know, place it on the, the where they belong to. All right, so what we're gonna do now guys, just close the computer all the way. And now let's work with these cables. Let's connect that up. The first thing we're gonna connect is this cable right here. So remember, it doesn't go like that. You have to flip a little bit and then pull it up. You see, you have to pull it to the side to be able to take it to this place. But I'm not gonna be able to record this part because it's gonna be really uncomfortable for me because you know it's really hard actually to put it back on the right place, okay? So I'm gonna stop the video just for now. All right, guys, check this out. So I just put this part back where it belongs to. So it's just nice and place. And now what we're gonna do now, we're gonna, you know, put all the screws back. We're gonna put A on this side, A on this side. We're now gonna put this um, part, all the screws and, you know, all the flex. So the good, you know, the good part is that, you know, all the flex are in the right position. Just connect it and just put all the screws. All right, guys, as you can see, I already connect all the cable. So everything is right in place the right way. So now it's time to test it. Let's see before we put, you know, the cover that covered the whole motherboard. Let's see if the, the um, screen is actually connected. You know, it's working basically. So let's see. Let's open it. Let's connect the charger and let's press the power button. And as you can see, now the computer is turning on. 
So, wow, I think everything is just, you know, it was good, everything. So the computer is working. Let me wait until the computer loads all the way to see. Yeah, everything is good to go. As you can see, everything, you know, is working the right way, guys. So that's what you have to do now after you make sure that, you know, everything was connected. Just turn it off. You have to turn it off. In this case, let me turn it off this way since I can see everything on the screen and just pull the bad cover to cover everything, okay? Just make sure, guys, before, you know, put this tab, this cover right here. So make sure to clean the fan, just um, take advantage. You know, the computer is already open. Just take advantage and just clean the computer using a tool brush or anything like that to cover, to clean the fan bent, the bent. So let me know in the comment section if you got any question. Please, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, drop a like, and that's all. See you in my next video.